I haven't shown any of those sharp ears out there. Okay, we'll give it a shot, so. Everything started, I suppose, with the music to a certain degree, because without being involved in playing music, it's kind of unlikely that I'd be involved in what I'm involved in today. For us, the Sitanta is the Rolls Royce of what we make. Uh, it's quite decorative, highly engraved, and choice woods, depending on whether you want uh, very fancy bird's eye maple or cordy maple. You can have very fancy, well, we do it in rosewood. We can do it in mahogany as well, but rarely in mahogany, but mostly in, in rosewood or, or very fancy maple. The decoration on the fingerboard, as in the the inlay and patterns, they're hand cut here. You know, if somebody puts in a special custom order, Fenton does the cutting now on, on the mother of pedal and things like that. I've been very lucky that for the last 20 years or so that I've been able to work, work so closely with my father uh, and to help to grow the business to what it is today. Uh, but it only works because my wife Frances works here. Sean Hatton, who's a fantastic mandolin player and maker, is a vital part of the team here as well. And without all of us working together, it doesn't work. We see every banjo as a test. So we try to make every banjo as good, if not better. The process, we kind of call a plank to pluck. So basically, we would take a six to eight foot plank of wood, maple, mahogany, sometimes rosewood, cut it down to shape, join it in the middle to make sure the grain is nice and strong, add fingerboard, peg head, decorations, shape the neck, eventually get it into the spray room, uh, give it eight to 10 coats of lacquer, uh, before we join it to the body of the banjo. And then you have the rim, or the pot as it's called, and uh, then you build your metal hardware on the rim, you put on a vellum on it, you stick the neck on the rim, and put strings on with a bridge and you should get a sound. Carrying banjos as an entity has been established for about 40 years and through the years we've shipped banjos all over the world from Australia to Azerbaijan. United States, Canada, places like that. We've got to the stage where we would probably be considered one of the biggest banjo manufacturers in Europe. So the aim is to continue to grow, get better, and continue to produce as good an instrument as we know we can. <laughs>